uh, in local news, the endorsement of the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, by former President Olushe Gunabasanjo, has drawn rebuke from Nigeria's two major parties, the All Progressives Congress, APC, and the People's Democratic Party, PDP. Now, while the APC Presidential Campaign Council described the endorsement as useless, alleging that the former president hardly has strong electoral value, the PDP Presidential Campaign Council said whether Obasanjo likes it or not, the party's presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar, would be president in his lifetime. Joining us to discuss this development is Arise News Analyst, Kayade Otitoji. Good day, Happy New Year, and Happy a warm year, welcome to the everyone. program. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yes, we're starting the New Year with bus boss, I believe is what they call it. Uh, let's take it from the top. Do you feel a response was necessary from both parties? <laughs> Ordinarily, I would have felt not necessary because... Um, Baba, we always want the best for Nigeria. I remember when um, uh, Jonathan was to choose vice president. Baba wanted a real core not and someone with more political or electoral value. But despite the fact that uh, Baba helped Jonathan, you know, to become, first of all, vice president and later president. Jonathan decided to take uh, Nandi Sambo, you know, an architect and, uh, who was not a core not, you know. So, Baba, we always want, you know, uh, the best. And during his time, he actually got the best. You know, looking everywhere, abroad, bringing uh, uh, the likes of uh, the Minister of Finance, Konjo uh, Uala, then bringing the like of Vice President, Atiku Abubakar. Atiku Abubakar had already won election as a state governor before he brought him in because he knew he would add value. So at times, some of these things could be contradictory because of what premise will you place will be ahead of either Atiku Abubakar or uh, Ashiwa Jutinumbu. When we are talking politics, it's different from sentiment. Okay? If you look at where they stand, the three of them, you look at their real controlling states and their electoral value in terms of voters' registration. So you give me a second. Let me just give you first five, five states for the three of them. Okay? Um, Ashiwaju is popular in Lagos and the voter strength is 7.15 if everybody votes. Kano, 6.0 million. Kaduna, 4.4. Kasina, 3.57. Baushi, 2.8. Now we go to Abubakar. Okay? Abubakar, if it's able to get rivers, because never say never. Then that means 3.68 million votes. Delta, 3.38. Uh, Oyo, if it's able to retain Oyo, 3.35. Edo, 2.57. Akwaibo, 2.44. Now that's five. A piece. Now we go to Peter Obi. Anambra, 2.76 million. Enugu, 1.9. Ebonyi, 1.86. Imo, 2.27. Abia, 2.2. So, even uh, Imo and Ebonyi 
are owned by APC, by, uh, you know, right now. So now you now look at this, you know, the geopolitical zones. Northwest, 2.2, no, 22.67 million voters. Southwest, 18.3 million. South-South, 15.2. North Central, 14.1. North East, 12.8. South East, 11.49. Let's say Peter Obi even has the whole of the states in Southeast, which is not because two of them belong to APC. All right? And the ecological dominant party in Southeast has always been PDP. Let's say you even get the whole Southeast vote. That will be 11.49, huh? which is just half of Northwest, which is 22.67. I say, let's say you got 100% vote without any other party. So, how can that person be rated all and above the Numbu or Atiku? So I'm using, because some of this thing is science and fact, not sentiment, okay? So... Is it about prediction or preference, though? Oh, well, you still base prediction on in that intuition huh? or actual deduction from maybe science or, you know, uh, um, you know uh, either from um, polls or whatever. It must be deduction from something. But we are saying this is the people that we vote. We don't know the percentage that we vote, but it will still be proportional to the number of registration. So, now, Papa said uh, it's a needle that has a thread. Where are the thread? Okay? The people that you constitute the thread are the Big, big people in that zone. And who are they? Atoyeze? All right? Um, Professor Soludo? Uh -huh. um, sorry, let me. Ujo uh, Usokalu? Ayim Payos Ayim? Senator Stella Odua? Andy Uba? Um, so, where, is, where are the needle? Where, you know, I mean. <laughs> We are the thread. So Ludo is not, Dave Umayi is not with him. Hope Uzo Duma is not with him. Chief OB is not with him. Atonzo. So right from his base, uh -huh, you can't see the thread. Baba can't be the thread for him. Now you look at other political or uh, uh, important position for OB, like the vice presidential candidate. He's from Kano. I can't, I can't compete with, uh, with the governor there or um, uh, Kwan Kwanso. Okay? That's that. Then do now go to the uh, director general of the campaign. Who are, who are the trade there? That's uh, my junior. Uh, no, not, I don't use the word junior now because it's bigger than me politically. <laughs> That's uh, Aki Oshitoku. In Ekiti, we don't know. Labor, because labor is not, with exception, ex, exception of uh, Peter Obi, that may be in the ballot paper. No other position is in the ballot paper for labor inequity. So, so when, when you are to choose someone like your director general, it will have been someone from where you will get more votes, maybe like Northeast, where everybody tend to, you know, uh, gravitate to. Not a place where you can win cumulatively, where you can win 100 votes. So you don't. It's, it's not strategic enough. And all this put together doesn't give my own opinion. And I'm so close to Baba, so I shouldn't be criticizing him. Very close. I'm his son. Okay? But on this... It wasn't based on reality.
Well, Mr. Tsutoju, since we're focusing on the reactions of, you know, APC and PDP, we know they took different approaches, but we're saying more or less the same thing. APC hit a bit, you know, below the belt, talking about um, how um, he's not the best person to to say someone is more competent or talk about personalities, because he did mention that there's a sense of entitlement when it comes to the APC and the PDP presidential candidates. But it was also mentioned that he endorsed, you know, pre um, President Buhari uh, just before he emerged president. And now he's saying that the past um, seven and a half years plus have been hell on earth. And then on PDP's side, they're saying that it's because he's always wanted someone from the Southeast. I'm just wondering what you're taking from the reactions. I know you understand, or you've already laid out the facts in terms of what you've read out for us, but what do you think of the approach and the facts that were listed in this case? Can we really trust this endorsement, seeing that he endorsed President Buhari a while ago, and you now see, he's I saying didn't that want it's... To, I didn't want to base my reaction mm -hmm. on what the spokesperson of those two parties yeah, are saying, because most of them, they, they move from the antagonistic, you know, side. Mm -hmm. And when they are explaining something that ought to be factual and be convincing, you know, using convincing parameters. Mm -hmm. That was why I chose my own path, not their own. And some of them may even resort to abusing Baba. You know, they may, you know, all is acceptable in politics. But I'm saying that actually, no, no magic can change what is already, we are talking of within two months, in two months time, this thing will have been decided. And when you talk of the youth, when people are saying, okay, youth should uh, be wooed, the youth already know where they are going. And who are the youth? The youth are already absorbed in all the political parties. Okay? In uh, places like uh, PDP, you have uh, Tolu Ogunlesi, is already special assistant at presidency under a party. We already have uh, Ulusanya, what's the name of the young lady in uh, Lagos State, who is the commissioner for Agri. He already knows that actually is an APC. Do you get my point? And these are youth. The youth that are really serious about politics, they have, okay, what of uh, the musician who is going for House of Red? Banky W. Banky W. He say, it's not up to 40. He has already taken the party that will get him to where he's going. Or is there a Jumabi last son? Okay? Who is going for House of Assembly in uh, Oyo? He has already chosen the party. So when people are saying the youth think wise, the youth are thinking wise and they know where they are going. Nobody wants to fish in. Uh, in, uh, in, a, in, a, in a notion when you can just pick your distance and straight drop your hook and straight to the fish. So this is it. Um, forget it. If the, and even the people working with Obi, my friend, my friend, and I can say it with all conviction, Professor Patu told me, he can't say he's much of a politician, someone that was contesting. And because he, doesn't, he didn't have structure on ground, on the day of election, none of the young ones could say, oh God, we are ready, we are, we are voting, we'll come. They have finished voting before he started looking for polling booth. So, and these are the real Baba Saleh for Obi. I mean, let's face reality. 
So, Mr. Tutoji, so why? Sorry. Yeah. sorry to interject. So, why do you feel that uh, when the APC responds to this uh, six-page letter, when the PDP responds, why do you feel they can't spell out some of the things you have just so eloquently put forward to us here in this conversation, and they would rather insult a former head of state and call him useless and call him all sorts of names? What? Why is that? where our discourse has gotten to in Nigerian politics you know, on the eve of a some, huge election. Some of these things depends on upbringing, political upbringing, not home upbringing. If you are brought up to fight and you are brought in as attack dog, you must do your job. And no respect for age, no respect for uh, constituted authority, yours is just to attack. And that's why I'm not taking their own, you know, side to analyze the position. I'm analyzing based on facts and figures and what, even when you don't base it on figure, when you base it on perception, okay, this is how it is. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Um, Arise News Analyst, Mr. Kaido Titoji, thank you for joining us and thank you for your analysis. We appreciate your time as always. Yeah.